Are you looking for a way to create professional branded color option mock-ups for your Etsy print on demand shop? Well, I've got two options for you and one of them will save you a lot of time. Hey everybody, Jeff here for POD Insights, the podcast and YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out the links in the description as well as head over to podinsights.net for a lot of helpful resources. So besides your primary mock-up photos that show your designs on actual products, you have other images that you need to include in your Etsy listings. And if you sell apparel, especially things like t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, one of the big things is showing the different color options that you offer. Now, a lot of sellers include a single image that's a color chart that shows all of the color options that are available for that particular product. However, I've never been a huge fan of that because it shows the customer a huge range of colors and usually you don't offer all those colors in your actual listing. So my preference is to show the actual specific color options that I offer and show the actual design on those color options to give the best possible information to the customer so they can decide which color they wanna buy. However, that of course is nowhere near as easy as simply throwing a color chart image on the listing. And if we use the color variant mockups that come from our print on demand platform like Printify, they'll be on a solid white background. They'll look the same as any other print on demand seller and they just won't look that professional. Well, I have two solutions for this. One involves using Canva and it does involve a little bit more manual work for every listing that you create. So it is, in my opinion, not the best option, but it is an option. And my favorite option involves a Photoshop script that automates a lot of the process and saves a lot of time. So stick around for the end of the video if you want to see that option. So before we get started on the two options I have for you to create better looking, branded, professional looking color option mockups for your Etsy listings, let me just show you an example of the problem that I am solving for with this process. And so here's an example of what I'm talking about. This is a nice design on a sweatshirt and this is a nice mockup. This is a great mockup that if you zoom in on this for your thumbnail, your primary thumbnail and search results, It'll look nice. It's a nice quality looking mock-up. However, this is the only mock-up image they have in this listing. Instead of showing what this design is gonna look like on different color sweatshirts or different color t-shirts, they have these color charts in here which go with the size chart. It's one bundled image with the size measurements as well as the color options. And they actually don't even have a size chart in this listing for sweatshirts. They have long sleeve, youth, unisex, and v-neck t-shirts, they're actually missing a size and color chart for the product in their main mock-up. Now, this is not a shop critique or a listing critique, but this is a problem that I'm looking to solve. I want my potential customers to be able to see the design on different colors so they can make a decision and not leave the listing because they couldn't see the color that they wanted. So to create our branded color option mock-ups, you are going to first need two things. Thing number one is a background template that's got your branding on it as well as text to describe each color option. And you can create that on Canva or in Photoshop or whatever your preferred software is. I'm gonna make mine on Canva because I think it is a pretty quick and easy way and it also leads into my option one for making the mockups. So the first thing is to just create a new project. I like to do 2000 by 2000 just because I think that's a nice size. And then we're gonna go over to the photo option on the menu and we're gonna search for whatever you want to use for your background. I always think wood looks nice. So I'm just going to pick this option here. The only one that may not look awesome on this background would be a white t-shirt or white sweatshirt, but it should still stand out enough. The next step is to add your shop logo. You want to brand this so it looks like it is custom made for your shop. So add your logo. I'm just gonna put mine in the bottom corner for now. And then the last piece is going to be to add a text layer here so that you can place your color information on each page. This is our starting point, and we're gonna use this and copy this page over um, into multiple separate files. Now, the next major thing that we need is the actual product mock-up images. And there's one really, really important thing here to make this whole process easier for you. And that is that what you need to do is you need to find product mock-up images that are the exact same layout for each color. And what I mean by that is that the product does not change position from one color option to the next. So I know you're already thinking, where do I get those mock-ups? Well, a second ago, we were on Creative Fabrica, which is here. That's where I am going to get mine from to use for this because I know that they all match perfectly. But let me just show you an example of what you want to avoid. 
because this will make or break this process for you. So here's an example of a Bella Canvas 3001 mock-up bundle. But here's an example of what you want to avoid. Notice how in these mock-ups, each of the shirts is in a slightly different position on the different colors. Now I know the backgrounds are also different on these, but this is just an example. Notice this like lime green one and this pink one. The pink one's kind of in a knot. The lime green one is just kind of ruffled up on the bottom. That is not good for what we want to do, especially for our automated Photoshop process that we'll be getting to next. So what you need are mock-ups that ideally are transparent to begin with, but most importantly, every color option, the shirt is in the same exact position. Now this is on Creative Fabrica, and I'm just gonna go through and download each color option that I in ever intend to use. So for example, here is our black t-shirt option, and what you wanna do is size this in a way that is easily repeatable, because you need all of the pages to have the shirt in the exact same position. So for example, on Canva, one of the easiest ways to know you're doing things the same size every time is to drag to hit the actual top and bottom borders of the design. Now the left and the right don't have to, but the top and the bottom should. Now we can take a second and just move around our text information here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is use the copy feature here to copy this, and then all we're gonna do is replace the PNG file in the center with the next one and then change the text. So we'll copy this, we will change our text to white, and then we will delete the black option and we will insert the white option. Then just maximize the top and the bottom like we did for the black one, make sure it's centered and it should be in the, now in the exact same position as the black image on our, on our first page. Now, if you have a white shirt on a light colored background like on, I do, one of the things you can do is come into the edit image options and change the brightness or the contrast just a tiny bit. And you don't wanna make this look like a gray shirt or a like super blindingly bright white shirt. It still needs to be natural looking to what the product will look like. And then just keep repeating this process till you have a page copied and filled in for each of the colors that you plan on offering in your shop. Now, if you're going to use Canva to create your product mock-up color options for your listings and not use the automated Photoshop method, what you wanna do now is just rename this project so that it is clear that it is your template. I like to keep one as a template just in case I accidentally do something. So I'm gonna save this one as color mocks template so that I know this is the original that's got all the color options in it. And now to actually create your color option mockups for a listing, each time you make a listing, you copy this template. Then you need to come in here and upload your finished design that you're using for the listing. And what you do from there is just add the design design to each page. And the first one that you do is going to sort of determine the way the rest of them are going to look. So if we zoom in on this here, what you want to do is size this so that it matches what you see in your Printify or Printful or Gelato in the mockups that they give you as a default. You want the size and the positioning and the angle and all that to match what it looks like on their mockups because theirs are going to be the closest thing to the actual product and position it the way it looks on the mockups. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the opacity down to about 90, 91%. And that is just gonna make it look a little bit less like an obvious graphic sitting on top of a template. So once I get that exactly the way I want it, now what I can do is I can copy this. So I'm not gonna keep adding it from my uploads folder. I'm gonna copy this because this has all of my adjustments made to it. And I just come down to my next page and I paste it. However, for this design, I don't offer this one on a white t-shirt. So because this is a copy, I can delete this page because I don't even wanna export the white mock-up because I don't offer that color. So you can just delete that page and go on and copy and paste this design onto each page, make sure the positioning matches, and then you're done. And when you're done, of course, you want to make sure that your project name is updated to reflect what it actually was. It also helps for you to name the pages because the page names are going to be the individual file names for each one. And once you're good there, you can come over to the share option and select download. You're going to want to make sure that you're downloading all the pages. You can do it as a PNG or a JPEG, doesn't really matter. And that's the process that you go through and repeat if you want to use Canva to make these color option mockups for your shop. However, if you have Photoshop and you're interested in a faster, more automated way to do this that saves you time, let's talk about how to do that. If you're going to use this Photoshop method, you still need to have saved separate image files for each color option that are branded that look just like this. So you can actually still do up to this point of the process, creating these templates in Canva, or you can do it in Photoshop, doesn't matter. The point is you're going to need to have a separate file for each one of these because those are going to be all separate layers in our Photoshop file. 
Now, we do need one other thing before we go on with our Photoshop process here, and that is a special script that somebody has made available on GitHub. There is a link to this in the description. It is free. There is no cost to this. This is just something that somebody created for others to use and put out there on GitHub. This is a Photoshop script that will allow you to export individual layers as separate files quickly by running the script. So all you have to do is follow the link to this page, click on the green code button, and then select download zip. Then with the unzipped file, all you need to do is you need to take this, all of this information that's here and just move this to a more permanent place on your computer. None of these are large files, so I just moved it to a My Documents folder that I set up for Adobe so that I would know where it's located. Now in Photoshop, what you wanna do is start by just opening one of the files that we saved as the template for our colors. So here's the, the page or the layer for black. And I'm gonna turn myself off here so that you can see everything you need to see. All right, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add additional layers. And specifically, we wanna make sure that we add the layers for each of the individual colors. So let's go ahead and do file and we will do place embedded and we will add each of our other color options as a new layer. All right, now I like to put my two favorite color options as the top two layers here and we'll just rename this one to black. Now they should automatically have the names of the files that, uh, that you save them as. So they should already have the color names as the layers, but if they don't, just go ahead and rename each layer to the color that corresponds. We're gonna add one more blank layer on top here, just so there's a placeholder layer for us to add a design to or make changes if we need to. And all we wanna do before we actually use this now is go to File, Save As, and make sure we save this as a template. So wherever you like to save your Photoshop files in a place that you'll remember them, whether it's cloud or local, give this a name that you will remember and save it as a PSD file. All right, so now every time we need to make color option mockups, all we have to do is open this original file that I named color option mockups and add our design to it and then run the script. So let's run through what that looks like. So first we're gonna go to file and place embed our design. And this part of the process is exactly like what it was on Canva. We're just gonna need to take a moment and make sure that we have positioned the angle, positioned the size, and positioned the location on the product so that it matches with our print provider mock-up images. And then of course, we're gonna adjust the opacity as well to come down to about 90, 91%. And there you go, that's it. Now, if you wanna see what this looks like on the other color options, just hide or unhide layers so that you can see what it looks like on your different colors. Remember we said this one I don't offer on white. So all you have to do is hide that layer. Just select the option to change visibility. We'll bring back the black option. You only want the layers that you need for this particular listing to be visible. So I'm gonna do maroon, navy and black, because that's what I did. But that's it. All we have to do now is run that script and it will save each of these layers as a separate file so that we don't have to do it manually. So go up to file and then come down to scripts and then select the browse option to locate that script. Now what you want to do is navigate to that folder where you saved your script and you're looking for the JSX file extension. It'll be the only highlighted one in here. If you're on a Mac, it kind of tells you which one uh, is applicable for what you're looking for. So look for the JSX option in that folder that we saved and click open. Now, this is going to bring up this pop-up window with all of the options for the script. And don't be too overwhelmed because there's not too much we need to change here. The first thing we wanna do is select our output destination. If you need to change where that's going, go ahead and do that. Mine goes to my downloads folder. Under export, what you wanna do is make sure you have checked off visible only because if we don't do that, it's gonna export every single layer and visible only will only export the ones that are visible. Under file names, we want to use use layer name and keep extension. So what, we're, what that's going to do is use the layer name, which has the color name for each uh, name, and then we're going to add a prefix. So basically what we're going to do is name this one with the design. So this is going to be Mui Christmas, because that's our design. And then what it's going to do is it's automatically going to add the color name to the end of that name. The only other important option here is to come over to the right under output options. And what we want to do is make absolutely sure that you've selected top layer as foreground. What this is gonna do is that top layer that has your design in it 
is now going to be applied to each individual separate layer when these are exported. And that's, that's the magic. That's how it's saving us time. At the bottom, you can select which file type you want to export as. I'm doing mine as a simple JPEG file. Now, it will keep your settings, so you don't need to select every one of these every single time you run this script. The only thing you'll need to do in the future is just change that prefix name so that it is specific to your listing, and then click on the Run button. And it will automatically run through and export each of those layers that, that are visible as a file. And it will give you this message that it says saved three files or however many you actually exported. Now we can come to our downloads folder and we will find each of our files has now been exported. There is the Navy option, here is the Maroon option, and here is the Black option. So now we have these files ready to upload to our listing. And remember, each time in the future that we need to do this, all we're doing is opening the PSD template file, adding our design to the top layer, adjusting the opacity and the position, and then running that script. And that's it, just a few clicks, and you will have branded, professional-looking color option mockups. And this process works for any type of product that you can get sort of that repeating style color option mockup, mostly apparel, so it works really well for t-shirts, it works for sweatshirts, hoodies. So of course, you still need to have at least a couple of good high quality mockups as your primary images. You should always have one or two really solid looking mockups and you still need to have a size chart so customers can select the right size. But these color option mockups, I think are a fantastic addition to your Etsy shop. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you think this is helpful. I was really excited to find this script that allows you to save individual layers as separate files so quickly. But let me know if you think it's as helpful as I think it is. And if you have a different way of doing this type of a thing for your shop, also let me know that in the comments. If you did find this helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button so YouTube can show the video to more people and subscribe to the POD Insights channel so you can be notified when I come out with new videos. Thanks to all viewers and subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.